All right, so this is the um, Curry turnover change, and you're exchanging the top card right here for the card on the table. So it starts face down, and as you turn this over, you change the cards out. All right, so this is the same move done face up in the uh, exchanging this card, okay? And you've switched out the card again. So cool, that was the Curry turnover change. Mm -hmm. uh, some words about better versions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so um, Marlowe's version, the breakless Curry turnover change is, in my opinion, better. Um, just because the, you know, you're going up against pinning the card to the table like this with your fingers over just naturally turning it over. That's, this is what the Marlowe one would look like. Um, and you're using gravity to accomplish that method. Over, As opposed to your finger. Yeah, just friction. Um, and if you have s soft <laughs> skin, it's hard to do this move, so you need something tacky on your fingers. And the, the Marlowe version is based on the Curry version, mm -hmm. so this one came first. Um, and it's worth learning, uh, because the way that Marlowe kind of fixed it could fix other things if you find yourself in the similar position with this move. Um, it's, it's worth learning just so that you can fix similar moves and other tricks down the road. Yeah, and um, seeing how the evolution of yeah. this to what he came up with is a good peek into the mind of how someone's brain like that works, which yeah. is important. And if you want to do this move, it's recommended to do it standing, with everyone standing, looking down, because if you're seated across from each other, it, it tends to flash. Um, and you can probably get it so it won't flash sometimes, but... Uh, I think it will probably always flash, just because <laughs> that's why Marlowe improved it. Um, you have a pretty big gap at one point that has to close, and um, it catches the eye even if you're not looking at it. Mm -hmm. So, kind of flashy, um, but if you're standing, it won't flash. So that's cool. Uh, context is important. Um, yeah, so for context, you never want to do this move in just isolation as it, as it's explained first in the book. That's why later on he has tricks. And I think for most of the tricks, he has a reason to not just turn this over with one hand. He will often have another card over here, so the other hand's occupied and it can't just turn it over naturally how you should be doing it. So he'll be doing it like that. Um, yeah, so don't learn it and then use it for a single card change. Because yeah. logically you would just do this. <laughs> exactly. Why are you doing this? Um, yeah. So it only makes sense like that, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, worth learning, just so you can fix other moves that were fixed uh, like it later. Um, and maybe you like this one better um, than the Marlowe one. I don't know. Um, I couldn't really do it. <laughs> uh, I tried. My fingers just, I can't push this stuff out like you're supposed to. Uh, Got those moist fingers. No. <laughs>